Hi guys, JD from JD Tech TV here, and today we're going to be talking about the biggest craze on the internet in the world. <clears throat> in the world. And that would be fidget toys. In this video, I will be discussing the two most popular types on the market right now, the fidget cube and the fidget spinner. But this video will also be educational and I will teach you the science behind why people fidget and why these so-called toys are actual incredible productivity tools for those with ADHD. The fidget cube is the hottest item on the internet right now. It seems that everybody has one. And with these, it's pretty easy to get across on video all of its features and exactly why it's so interesting and helpful. However, what's a little bit more difficult to get across is the fidget spinners and exactly why these are so satisfying. One of its main things is spin time and exactly how long this spins with one flick. So what I ended up doing is I actually set up a dedicated demo station so I can place down this spinner in front of this camera. Let's get this ready real quick and give it one strong spin and I'm going to be recording this and have this video playing up in the corner the entire video. Ready? Let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to this video real quick. Let's give it one strong spin and start that timer. All right, now while that's spinning, I just like to say that if you haven't been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, every single product that I discuss in my video will be in the description down below. If you click on those links, you will get the most up-to-date pricing information from Amazon. Fidget cubes are small six-sided squares with each side designed to satisfy a different fidgeting need. There is the switch, which simulates a light switch that makes a clicking sound when flipped but if you apply some pressure to it, you can flip it without making a sound. The spin. This is a dial that you can rotate with your thumb and one I use quite often once I got the hang of it. The breathe. This is a groove that you can rub your thumb over that is designed to mimic a worry stone. The click. These are buttons meant to replicate the sound of a clicking pen. Three of these buttons are audible while two are silent. The glide. This is sort of like a joystick that feels very similar to a game controller joystick. I actually like that one a lot. The roll, which is several fidgets in one. You have three gears that you can turn and my personal favorite, it has a metal ball that you can roll around and it clicks. It's small enough to fit in your pocket so you can take it with you anywhere that you go. Then there's the fidget spinner. These come in a wide variety of different shapes, the most common being the three-sided shape. Most of them are made out of plastic or ceramic. This one's made out of plastic, and I can get about an average spin time of around 90 seconds. But if you pony up for the brass ones, like the one spinning up here, you get an average spin time of at least five minutes, sometimes even six, seven, or eight minutes. Basically how it works is that the longer the spin time, the more satisfying it is. Each style shares a similar design of having weights at the end of each arm with the center containing ball bearings, which allows the arms to spin smoothly while the center holding pad stays stationary. And to quickly answer the question to whether you should get these or not, yes, absolutely, you should 100% pick these up. And once again, all of the links to all of these products are listed in the description down below. But the more important question is why are fidget toys such a necessary tool to help the productivity of those who fidget? But this is the educational part of the video and what that means is that I can don my lab coat and yes, this is my personal lab coat that I own that I use for my physics and chemistry labs. I just simply refuse to talk about science with you without wearing it. So don't hate because you know this looks good. Fidgeting can manifest in a number of ways and all of them are usually annoying to everyone around you. Tapping, clicking a pen, shaking your leg, constantly pulling out your phone, biting your nails anything like that are all fidgets and potential signs for ADD or ADHD. As it turns out, those of us who are actually ADHD, fidgeting is not just a compulsion, it's a necessity. Everyone, not just people with ADHD, have something called floating attention. Floating attention is how your brain can concentrate on a task at hand while remaining mildly aware of your surroundings. It's an evolutionary trait that's allowed us to survive as a species as long as we have. Most of us have been in this situation before. You're sitting at a stoplight and the light turns green. Your attention and your focus is straightforward, but you slam on the brakes because out of the corner of your eye, you see a guy barreling through the intersection trying to run the red light. Even though your main focus was not on the car that was running the red light, your floating attention alerted your brain and allowed you to step on the brake. 
People with ADHD's floating attention would also notice the car running the red light, but they're also noticing the paint on the traffic light is chipping, their seatbelt is positioned slightly wrong, the cute baby next to the car to them, and the broken glass on the street wondering if this sort of thing happens all the time. It's as exhausting as it sounds. So because people with ADHD don't have a filter for floating attention, it's pretty easy to get distracted. That's why fidget toys are so important because it allows you to focus your floating attention by giving it a job. Now what I mean by that is by doing a mindless task like this, it allows your subconscious mind to be distracted from all other sensory inputs, which in turn allows your conscious mind to be free to focus on the task at hand. You see, for a lot of people, these things are less of a toy and more of a tool. Fidget spinners work on the same principle, except instead of distracting your floating attention by clicking or moving something on the cube, you distract it with things like spin time, white noise from the sound of the ball bearing spinning, bouncing it on your finger, or the centripetal force which is the torque you feel when the spinner is in motion and you move it around. Basically it feels heavier or lighter in your hand depending on how you're moving it as it's spinning. Now there is no shortage of fidget spinners and fidget cubes on the market right now. After all, it is the most popular toy on the internet. And I got my hands on about 10 different fidget toys and all the links listed down below in the description were the ones that I found to be the best in their category. So for a fidgeter like me, these toys are an absolute necessity. If you decide to pick some up, let me know in the comments down below which ones you got and how you like them. And if you thought that this spinner was going to stop before the video ends, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're going to stay around the entire time to watch it stop spinning, hit that share button as well. Thanks so much for watching another review on JD Tech TV. I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, one last thing before this thing stops spinning is I want you guys to check out another channel of a friend of mine. His name is DJ Tronook. He has a channel called DJ Tro Media. There should be a card popping up right now at the top of the page. If you click on that, you can go to his page. And he's a small YouTuber like me, so I want to make sure that we support the community of YouTubers, big and small. But he is a great guy, as well as having a great channel. He gives you really great tips on back to school tech, as well as tips on lighting and sound for YouTube videos for small starting YouTubers, which is extremely important and I want to support that. So go ahead and check out his channel and uh, let him know that you stopped by from my channel. Thanks guys. That thing is seriously still going? My God.